Hi, my name is Carly Blacksell from Human Happiness and welcome to your new moon in Capricorn on the 17th of January uh, yoga class. Uh, if this is your first time in the class, welcome. And we're just starting off with a, um, a bit of an activation, just activating the body, getting it ready for the yoga, preparing the body for the yoga. So just flicking, flicking the hands down towards the floor and then flicking up a little higher. If you have any concerns about um, doing yoga, definitely consult your health professional before actually doing a class. Um, but these classes are all completely modifiable if you have any uh, concerns, any health considerations that you need to be looking at. And I'll be talking about those as we go through. So if you do have blood pressure, heart condition, shoulder issues, keep the hands down a little bit lower as we do uh, those movements. So just swinging around. Um, what I do for these classes is I actually look at the planet's astrology and numerology and I actually formulate the best possible class that we could do to um, counter any of the um, uh, difficult energies that we might be, or challenging energies that we might come across um, over this fortnight with this new moon. So each class will be focused on either a new moon or a full moon. So you'll get a class approximately every fortnight. And um, yeah, so um, I'll start to talk about um, the astrology that we've got going on at the moment. Um, and generally for uh, equipment, um, definitely bring a water bottle. So just flicking to the side, feel a little bit of a stretch around the side of your body here. And taking it easy, always within your limits with all of these classes. And um, as I said, definitely consult a health professional if you're concerned at all about, about doing these classes. Just tapping opposite knee with opposite hand. And of course, giving feedback. Um, if you can write a comment on uh, the YouTube channel or on the Facebook page or anything like that, that would be lovely. And of course, share this with your friends, family. Uh, it's completely free. Um, it will be regular. It will be every fort approximately every fortnight. You can go for your heels if you can find them back there, or you can just stick with um, opposite knee. So this new moon, as I said, it is in Capricorn, which is a cardinal sign. Um, and it's, it's all about uh, moving projects forward. So it's fantastic that it's right at the beginning of the new year. Um, and we actually have six planets in Capricorn, as I said, which is a cardinal sign. And it's about action and goal setting and setting your new intention. So um, you might even be interested in doing um, a vision board for yourself uh, for this year. You can have a look on my YouTube channel and have a bit of a watch of the, the vision board day um, uh, video, which explains how to do your own vision board. Um, so that's a really big theme in this fortnight to actually set your goals, set your intentions. Uh, let's go the other way. So just very gentle hip circles here. Working out what it is that you really want to do, what you want to be, what do you want to become in this year, what kind of a person you want to be, what dreams you'd like to have fulfilled. And you just do little figure eights with your hips here, or little infinity symbols. So yeah, a really big theme is obviously the goal setting, setting and the action. And then bring the hands in. We also have Uranus Square Eris. Um, which is all about freedom and independence and spiritual awakening. So, so that's, that's a bit of a theme going on as well. And we're having a universal um, year. We're just starting our universal year of two. So just figure eights. You can do them to the floor. As long as just checking that if you do have heart, heart blood, um, sorry, <laughs> blood pressure issues, heart condition, uh, vertigo, keep your head above your waist. So don't go down quite so low. I'm going up a little bit to the sky again. Um, shoulders, blood pressure, heart condition. Keep your hands a little bit lower when we, um, when we reach up to the sky like that. So yeah, we're having a universal year of two. So we've just walked into this, into this um, universal year. So it's very exciting. Um, it is the gateway to your heart um, plane. So um, it's very much about heart expression or how you're feeling, how you're expressing yourself, um, your intuition. Um, so scooping under with your hands. So it's a very gentle scoop, a little bit of a squeeze of the kidneys here. And uh, it's all about cooperating. 
collaborating with people, working in a team, and of course setting your new goals and getting into action um, this year will definitely be all about working in a team, getting people to help you with what it is that you're, you're really aiming for this year. So bring the hands up a little bit higher, feel it in your shoulders, in your arms, and just doing whatever's comfortable for you here, through, all the way through the class, whatever's comfortable for you. And then up over, over the top. And again, keep the hands a bit lower if you have those health considerations. And um, this month is a three universal month. So that's all about personal self-expression. So it's expressing yourself through your words, um, through what you say, through what you do, through how you dress, with how you present your car, your house, your person. So of course, putting all of that together, we're, we're taking action, we're moving forward, very, very much moving forward these next couple of months um, because those six planets will, uh, all the planets actually, sorry, are um, moving forward um, uh, until March. So that's, that's really exciting. Um, that means let's go, let's get this stuff done. So it's a really good time to collaborate, to cooperate and to be your own personal expression, what's comfortable for you. Palms faced outwards. Um, opening up the shoulders and just breathe out, just lean forward a little bit and breathing in, opening up that chest. If you do have hernia issues, um, any recent abdominal surgery, just be very gentle here with the, with the lean back. So I'll be continuing to talk about this as we go through the yoga class. Um, if you've not done true yoga before, um, welcome definitely. Uh, it's very exciting to have you on board. Um, the plan is... Um, to get these, these free classes um, to, to people all over, well, all over the planet, really, to make it accessible to people who, who definitely cannot access um, a yoga class very easily. So people who live remotely, uh, maybe um, young mums who, who can't get to a class because they've got the young ones, uh, single parents, uh, people who work really long hours, um, or just the closest class is just so far away or so, takes so long to get to, it's just ridiculous. Um, so breathing in as you go back. So spread the word um, and I hope you enjoy the class. Ah, breathing in and out. All right, and then just getting your right foot. This is your right foot. I'm, I'm mirroring you here. So this is whenever I use this foot, it's your right. Just lean for a little bit of a, a squeeze in your lower back then come back to the middle and then leaning to the back. So it's just moving the foot forwards and backwards. I'll show you to the side if you like. So it's just a little bit of a squeeze in the lower back. Just going forwards and backwards. This is kind of like doing a, um, a standing cobra, <laughs> which is a really cool thing to do. We'll be doing the cobra later because that's all about moving forwards. So coming back into the middle and let's go for the left foot. So going forwards and back. And just breathing naturally, just relaxing here. There's no special breathing in this section. This is just warming up the body, getting yourself ready for the yoga. So the energy block release we're going to do today, um, we, we generally will do an energy block release or a sequence. So come back into the middle and just standing on one foot. If you need to grab a wall or a chair, um, or if um, please do so, because um, we're going to be standing on one leg. If you do have osteoporosis, hip issues, um, or any, any balance issues, please keep your foot on the floor. So just have your foot on the floor and just do a little shake like this. Otherwise, you can come up and do a bit of a shake. Uh, we're going to be doing energy block release three, EBR three, which is fantastic for setting your goals, for opening your heart up um, to new possibilities for this year. So it's really, really good to be doing over this fortnight. Obviously do this class as many times as you like. Circles with your ankle, with the right foot and the other way and then shaking out the side and the back a little bit of a swing so what i tend to do is i do this class a few times before i actually teach it um, and then i continue to do it over over this fortnight as as my regular practice and then up and around so i'm also all living uh, this yoga with you as well so up and around just very gentle here if you do have hip issues just take it nice and easy little bit of a shake and 
shaking the left foot out to the front again grab onto something or have a wall nearby or a chair nearby if you're concerned about your balance here little circles with your ankle and the other way and out to the side I would usually do this class outside but today it's quite windy <laughs> uh, which would have made it a bit difficult uh, to be able to hear me and um, to keep everything in place so we're inside today but usually I'm out I, I try to be out in nature if I possibly can so swinging and then up and around if you are a seven if your numbers um, add up to seven or if you have a seven in your numerology um, being out in nature is, is almost like as important as oxygen for you so it's a really good idea to do your yoga out in, na in nature as, as often as you possibly can okay so a couple of little warm-ups here um, now a few options here um, with the uh, with the iliopsoas um, what we might do is come down onto the floor sorry <laughs> looking around for a chair um, and just bring your if this is comfortable for you just bring your bring your right foot up to the front and then just lean in it's basically a runner okay now if that's um, a concern for you uh, you can use a chair I apologize I didn't have a chair next to me I'll just grab a chair now you can have a chair next to you and um, just put half of your bottom on the chair one leg goes straight out the back and just lean into it so you'll get you'll still get that nice stretch in here so that's one way to do that stretch and then changing to the other side so leaning in get a nice little stretch here okay and again we can use a chair for this for this one if you need it the full version of this this movement is coming up on your into a squat and just leaning your foot out to the side and just keeping yourself nice and upright like this if that's a bit too much for you you're quite welcome to go on your knees and just lean a little bit forward and just grab the floor you'll feel a bit of a stretch in here and you can do it on the chair as well exactly the same as what we did before if you already know these movements please hop into the stretch and you're quite welcome to hold the stretch for a good a good 20 seconds or so so you can do it this way as well so half of your bottom is on the on the chair and then switching to the other side so across to the across to the left ah <sighs> okay so coming back into the middle we've got young snowy here to assist us with our yoga today okay so let's go to our energy block release three EBR three it's a really beautiful energy block release and of course you can do this yoga just in parts like you might go I really like that energy block release so I'm going to do that again um, we might like the warriors that we do later or the Cobra for instance you might just want to pluck out that particular movement as long as you do a little bit of a warm-up first and the stretches that would be completely fine so first we're going to get ourselves into Tadasana so just lifting up one of your heels and pivoting around until the heel touches the big toe on the other foot so you've got like an upside down L movement there and then just lifting up and pivoting back so what we're doing here is measuring the distance between your feet getting them about about hip width apart okay and then breathing in and just tightening up the knees for a moment and then breathing out nice soft knees move your awareness up to your your pelvic area push your pelvis forward so I'll just show you what it looks like push the pelvis forwards push it back and then find a nice even ground imagining that you're holding a bowl of water in there and you want the bowl of water to stay nice and steady Move your awareness up to your shoulders so breathing in roll the shoulders up and back breathing in again and back and in again the more you do the drew yoga the more quickly your body responds as you start to do the movements in and out 
and then just breathing in squeeze the shoulder blades together lift them up a little bit till itching up just a little bit and then breathing out <sighs> shake it out breathing in again and out <sighs> chin parallel to the floor arms just relax by your side imagine there's a string attached to your sternum lifting you up to the sky another string attached to your crown lifting you up you might feel your spine lengthening as you do this Checking that your knees are still nice and soft. Your pelvis feels in neutral. Breathing in. When you breathe out, lift up that pelvic floor. So it's a big muscle underneath here from the front to the back. Just feel like you're just squeezing it in like a kaleidoscope. Just about 10%. We don't need a really strong pelvic floor uh, tightening for this particular EBR. Okay, so you're into Dasana. This is a master posture. Sometimes I, I go into a, a standing meditation with this posture, uh, which is a really beautiful thing to do. But today we'll go straight into the, the energy block release to make sure that we've got time to do everything we'd like to do today. Okay, so breathing in. Nice deep breath in. Feel like you're filling up your tummy. And then breathing out. Just nice, relaxed knees. Arms out in front. And then breathing in. Keeping the knees nice and soft and allowing the hands to be faced, palms faced away from you. Elbows nice and bent. Now if you do have the blood pressure, heart condition issues, um, or, or you just have sore shoulders, you can bring your hands down to here. So don't feel like you have to have your hands up above your head. And feel like you're holding on to the sun, like you're harnessing the energy from the sun. You have some goals for this year. This is a fantastic time to, to shoot for your goals and to harness the energy around you um, to actually make those dreams come true. And this is a fantastic energy block release to do that. So feel like you're, you're harnessing the energy from the sun and you're using that to help you shoot for your goals. And then breathing in, just stretching up a little bit. When you breathe out, allow the right hand to come down, turn your body so your, your right hip goes around to the back. Bend your knees, let your hand just swoop past your thigh and then breathing in, coming back up to where you were. Breathing out, left hand comes down, knees bend. Let the hand sweep past your thigh and then back up. And breathing out, so allowing the breath to be in line with what you're doing with the movements. If you've not done this before, please don't be concerned if you're, you're finding yourself a little bit unco. <laughs> It's uh, very normal. So breathing out, down past the thigh, breathing in as you bring your hands back up. Imagine that you're standing in a pool of beautiful, fresh, crystal clear water and it comes up to just halfway up your thighs. It's a beautiful, warm day, maybe on some tropical island somewhere. And as your hands swish through the water, they cleanse away anything that's in your way of your achieving your goals. You can affirm, I joyfully release all the thoughts, feelings and emotions that do not support this goal. Big breath in as you come back up. Breathing out and back in. So January and February, really good time to move forward, to take action. And breathing in. And because we're having a universal two month this month, and it'll be a universal three month next month, also really good time to, uh, to move forward. And one more time, breathing out, one more time on both sides. Breathing in and out. And in. And then bring the hands down to just in front of your chest. Again, you've got a nice bend in your, in your elbows there. Breathing in, when you breathe out, just allow the right hand to face inwards towards your body. So this is your right hand. And then breathing in again. When you breathe out, leave your left hand exactly where it is. Allow your body to turn with your right hand and go all the way around if you can manage it so that it's facing the back. So I'll show you from the side. So it's facing the back. You've gone a whole 180 and you're, and you're looking into the palm of your hand. Then breathing in, coming back into the middle. Breathing out, switch hands. Breathing in, breathing out. Around the hand goes, stare into your palm. 
Feel that beautiful stretch in your torso. Breathing in, back into the middle. And out. Switch hands. Breathe in. And out. Think of someone that's very achieved. Could be someone famous. Could be someone you know personally. And then think of the words that you would use to describe that person. They're very strong, they're very organized. Breathing in and out, round we go. They're very resourceful. What words would you use to describe this, this achieved person, this person who's achieved their goals? Breathing back in. And then acknowledge that you can only admire these virtues in someone else if you already have the virtues inside of yourself. So then transform it into, I am organized, I am resourceful, I am strong, I am a good communicator. Last time, breathing in and out. Gazing into your hand like you're looking into the mirror and you really like what you see. And then just allowing the palms to be faced inwards, bending the knees a little bit, then breathing in, coming into your chest. Breathing out, just allowing the knees to bend a little bit more. Breathing in. And out. This is the Anahata breath, the breath of the heart. Breathing in. And out. Breathing in and out. This is allowing you to open your heart to new possibilities, to open your heart to the goal that you're setting. And if your heart's not open to it, it really just won't happen. So it's really allowing yourself to, to open up to this new possibility and affirming to yourself, I am worthy of the very best in life. And I now lovingly allow myself to accept it. Breathing in and out. It's a beautiful Anahata breath. The breath of the heart coming back in. And just allowing the fingers to be around about an inch away from each other. Just in front of your chest. Knees are nice and soft and, and bent. Then breathing in, just allow the hands to come a little bit away from each other. Then breathing out, breathing in a little bit further and out. Feel the movement in your heart, breathing in, feel that opening up of the chest and out and in and out and in and out. Feel your self-esteem expanding, your self-love and your self-worth. And then start to allow the hands to come in a little bit closer each time. And out. In. And out. And out. And one more time, just in front of the chest. And then again, just allowing the hands to settle in front of the heart. Then breathing in, allow the right hand to go up, left hand to go down. Feel a stretch through the diagonal in your body. Reaching up and then breathing out. Come back into the heart. Breathing in. And out. Breathing in. Stretching up. This is the heaven and earth stretch. This is connecting you with your higher self and grounding you so that you can actually get these dreams to come to fruition. If you're all up in your head and you're all up here thinking about your dream but you're not actually grounded, uh, the dream won't, won't, take, won't take flight but it won't actually hit the ground running either. So you need to be grounded, but you also need to be connected with your higher self. So this is a beautiful movement to do. Again, notice I keep coming back into the heart here. Breathing in, feel yourself expanding, always keeping a nice little bend in the, in the elbows. And one more time. Thinking about that goal you're setting, 
we're actually going to shoot, we're literally going to shoot for your goal now. So visualize that goal that you're, that you're working towards and out. And then just allow the feet to come a little further apart, just a little more than shoulder width apart. And then just allow the right foot to turn out to the right. And then just check that it's nice and comfy just to lean forwards and backwards on your, on your knees. <coughs> Excuse me. Allow the right hand to come out to, to the side, to your right, keeping a lovely bend in your, in your right arm. Okay, and creating the, um, the archa mudra with your, with your, um, with your left hand. <laughs> and you're going to grab your bow. So you're actually, you're facing your right hand and you're actually going to be aiming for your middle finger. Okay, because the middle finger is actually attached to your power center. Okay, so you grab, you grab your bow and you lean back. So you breathe in, keep the elbow at the same height of the shoulder. Keep the chest nice and open, looking straight at that middle finger. Then breathing out and just allowing the hand to come just a few inches away from that middle finger. Breathing in and out. Just a gentle rock with your legs. Breathing in and out. And one more. In, grab the bow. You're aiming for your goal. And then the hand's coming down. Let's go around to the other side. So now the left foot's facing outwards. Just check that it's nice and comfy just to do a gentle rock, keeping that knee behind the toes at the front there. Left hand comes up. Create the archer mudra. Grab your bow. Breathing in. Keep the elbow at the height of the shoulder. Big breath in and then breathing out. Breathing in and out. Breathe in. And out, in, and out. And then we're going to do the standing uh, thunderbolt. You can do this um, on the floor, but what we'll do is just the standing one today. So now your legs are going to stay completely stationary. You're going to have your right leg, um, so the knees directly above your, your um, ankle, and the left leg's fairly straight. Okay, you're going to have your your right hand up at about 45 degrees. Now, if you know you've got blood pressure issues, heart condition, you can bring it down a lot lower. And you're going to have your left hand out the back, again, at 45 degrees. Again, you can bring it lower. And when we do the movement, I'll show you the lower version first, actually. So again, you're aiming for that middle finger. So breathing in, when you breathe out, straight across your chest, if you have any of those health considerations. If you don't, you're welcome to come up higher. Breathing in and out, straight across the top. Breathing in, trying to keep the legs stationary and out. Shooting a thunderbolt at your goal. Breathing in and out. And one more. In and out. And then hands come down. Let's go across to the other side. So having the, the left knee directly above the left ankle, hand coming up to 45, or you can have it lower, as suggested, and then breathing in up to 45, looking at your thunderbolt, and then breathing out, straight across, shooting your thunderbolt towards your goal, and out. Breathing in, and out. And out. One more. Big open chest and out. And then bring the feet facing the front again and just gently come down if there's again blood pressure, heart condition, vertigo. Keep your head above your waist. Otherwise you can come a little bit lower. Just have a nice little stretch here. And then gently walk the feet back in towards each other. And then bending the knees, engage the core, and then just gently coming back up. Keep the knees bent. <sighs> Holding onto that sun again, back where you started. And then breathing in, breathing out, gently coming down like you're showering your body with that energy. And then allow yourself to come into Namaste. Just close your eyes just for a moment.
just thinking about your goal. So just thinking about how you've how you have now opened your heart up to this new possibility. You've set your goal and you've created some space space and freedom in your life to make this goal come to fruition. And then just gently opening your eyes and releasing your mudra. And just grabbing some water. Um, it's a good idea to have some water nearby um, all the way through the class. Just little sips as you go along. So that's our energy block release three. Um, we're now going to go into the, the warriors one and two. So um, I'll demonstrate what they look like. Um, you'll actually, yeah, I'll actually just do them because you can, you can, um, you can fast forward and rewind and things like that with your, with your video. Um, just um, checking uh, if you do have uh, glaucoma, a detached retina, high blood pressure, you're menstruating, if it's the first um, three days of your menstrual cycle, if you're pregnant, if you have neck issues and shoulder issues, you will need to do the modifications. So um, it's best not to leap straight into the full version. Um, so I'll do the modified, I will, I will demonstrate, sorry, I will demonstrate the full version first. Um, so my legs are a fair distance apart here. I breathe in. When I breathe out, just relax the shoulders. I breathe in again and my right foot lifts up the right toes and just goes 45 degrees across to the right. Then I lift up the right heel and I go 45 degrees. So what you end up with is a nice straight line from your right foot. Like your right foot is pointing a straight line into the ridge of your left foot. Okay, and you have a nice um, ability to, to bend this knee so it goes just above the ankle there. So you come into this position and that's essentially warrior one. Okay, you've actually got yourself into warrior one. You might um, feel that it's not a big enough stretch for you. You might want to go wider. Uh, if you have any of those uh, health considerations, you're going to come in a lot more shallow. Okay, so you're really just going to be shoulder width apart. Your arms um, come just a shoulder height, lift up the toes 45, heel 45, and then just keep the chest facing forwards and just looking out to the side. Okay, so it's a very shallow uh, movement across there instead of wide. So we'll do um, warrior one first. So whatever distance, a little bit restricted here with the dogs, <laughs> whatever distance um, feels comfortable for you for warrior one. So at the moment your feet are in line with each other across the mat, so the toes line up at the same spot and um, they're facing, like train tracks, they're facing forwards. So breathing in, when you breathe out, just allow the shoulders and the elbows to relax. Then breathing in, lift up the right toes 45 degrees, plop them back down, and then lift up the right heel 45 degrees. And you should have a straight line through that right foot, straight into the arch of your left foot. Breathing in, when you breathe out, bend the knee only to the point where it comes to just above your ankle, okay? Keep the hips facing forward as much as you can, the chest facing forward as much as you can, and then gazing over your right hand. Oh, feel the stability. This is a very much a base chakra um, activation, and it, it does create stability. It also creates determination. So feel yourself becoming more determined about your goal. It allows you to um, have endurance and harmony, which is fantastic for this two universal month. Balance and poise. Breathing in and then just turn the feet to the front and just allow yourself to lean forward. Again, keep the head above the waist if you have any of those concerns. And then walk the feet back in towards each other and then gently coming up. So that's warrior one on the right. Let's go across to the left. <laughs> All right, so just choose your width, whatever feels comfortable for you. It depends on how stretchy you are and what feels right. Just want a gentle stretch in your, in your legs here. Breathing in and out. Nice relaxed shoulders and relaxed um, elbows. Breathing in again, your left foot up 45 degrees with the toes back down and breathing in 45 degrees with the heel. So now you've got that straight line straight through to the arch of your other foot. Breathing in. And breathing out, bend that left knee just until it comes above your ankle. Keep the hips and the chest facing forwards. 
keep the elbow nice and soft and gazing over your left hand. Feel that balance. Feel that poise and the harmony. Feel yourself gracefully working your way through this two universal month to create a sense of balance and poise and harmony. And feel that determination rising from the base chakra up. Breathing in and out and just allowing yourself to stretch. And then just walking those feet back in towards each other. Okay, now if you do have, um, if you think that was um, a strong enough position for you, you're quite welcome to stick with Warrior One. A lot of people do and there's nothing wrong with that. That actually creates quite a bit of lovely energy. Um, Warrior Two is a little bit more strenuous and I do suggest that you bring the feet in a little bit um, because in the end the feet end up further out. <laughs> so I'll show you what it looks like. Um, and you're quite welcome to fast forward, rewind, and, um, and do the position. So breathing in, it, it starts out exactly the same. Breathing out, lift up the right foot, um, toes move, and then the heel moves. So you do exactly the same movement there. The difference is you breathe in, and then when you breathe out, the hands come down, swing like a, a windmill past the body, and the back heel, so your left heel, is going to push away from you. And then the hands meet up again above the head and you lean in on that front knee until the knee is directly above the ankle and you're doing namaste above your head okay and you're feeling a quite a deep stretch and then breathing in and dumbing it down of course again the blood pressure heart condition shoulder issues you don't put your head above the waist above the head Hands above the head. <laughs> okay, so we might just do that one more time on the right so everybody can do it together. Breathing in and out. Breathing in, right toes, 45, right heel, 45. Breathing in again. When you breathe out, push the left heel away from the center and allow the hands to swing up so they end up above the head. They meet again up above the head. Keep that right knee directly above the, the ankle. And see if you can keep your torso upright. So don't lean in like this. You want your torso nice and upright. And a little bit of a squeeze here in your lower back. Breathing in and out. And just stretching down. And then just walking the feet back in towards each other. And then coming up gently. Okay, going across to the, the other side, across to the left. So breathing in and out, just relax. Breathing in, left toes 45, left heel 45, lining it up again. Breathing in again. When you breathe out, the right heel pushes away, the hands swing down, and then they come back up again, they meet in the middle. And you bend your left knee until it's directly above your ankle chest nice and open and facing straight ahead to the left and get that right heel on the floor if you can otherwise you might need to bring your feet in closer at the beginning again feel that strength and determination that stability that poise and that endurance to get your goals achieved over these two months there's nothing wrong with doing this um, these movements all the way through Jan uh, January and February to harness that lovely energy with all the planets moving forwards. <sighs> Why not? And then just breathing out, release. And walk the feet back in towards each other. And then coming back up. <sighs> nice little stretch. Lovely. There's your warriors. Your warriors one and two. We won't do warrior three today. And we're just going to go into the cobra, which might be a bit tricky with snowy on the... Uh, map, but we'll work that out. Um, again, there's a fair few um, health considerations to think about for the cobra, um, and I will do the cat first um, because if you do have these health considerations, you'll be needing to do the cat instead uh, for pretty much all of them. Uh, hiatus hernia, 
uh, peptic um, ulcers, hyperthyroidism, abdominal surgery recent, um, if you're pregnant, if you have um, back muscles that are prone to spasms, also, or if they're very weak, um, you're going to be resorting to the cat, um, most likely for most of these. Unless you know that this, whatever you've got isn't been managed very well and you've spoken to your doctor about it, um, or your health professional. So I'll show you the cat first. I'll do the cat in this direction. So this is what you'll do if you do have those, those health considerations. Um, if you have a hiatus hernia, I suggest you just go into the child position um, instead of doing any of this, this movement, um, which is just leaning, hopping on your knees and just leaning forward and um, attempting to get your heels to touch your, um, your bottom and your hands to touch, the, um, your forehead to touch the floor. If you can't get it to touch the floor, just allow your hands to bunch in front of you so that you can make that contact. So that's what you'll do if you have a hiatus hernia. Um, the cat, just basically you're coming into the cat position, so allow your knees to be directly below your hips and your hands to be directly, actually I might go the other way so I can show you what I do with my hands, your hands to be directly below your shoulders. Now if, you, if this is difficult for your wrist, you're quite welcome to roll your mat up and then place your hands, uh, your, the heels of your, um, your palms on the rolled up section so that you can actually uh, feel a little bit more comfortable there. <laughs> Breathing in, when you breathe out just squeeze your tummy muscles, so pull your tummy muscles up towards the sky and when you breathe out just push your tailbone down towards the floor very gently and then like you're, like you're stretching your spine out beyond your head, just a very gentle upwards movement, but mainly a stretch out past the head. And just allow the head just to flop down. Then breathing in, start with the tailbone, gently pushing it up towards the sky. And again, slowly working your way up the spine, stretching the spine out beyond your head. And looking just a few meters ahead on the floor. So you're not hyperextending like this, you're just looking a few meters ahead on the floor. Then breathing out, start with the tailbone and work your way back down. So that's the cat. And uh, Snowy must have known what we were going to do next because he's just moved himself off the, off the mat there. Okay, so with the cobra, uh, we're actually going to do quite a few stages. Uh, we'll skip the first couple of stages. We're going to go straight into the um, start with the sphinx and then we're going to work towards um, the, um, the more advanced um, cobras and um, I'll do the best I can to demonstrate those. Okay, so you lay on your mat. I'll just move that across there so we can have a look at the, oh there they are, the benefits. Um, cobra is fantastic by the way for, for benefits. Um, so you're going to bring your, you're actually going to rest your forehead on the floor and you're going to bend your elbows and you're going to place your hands so that um, your thumbs are lined up with about where your eyes are. And you're just going to rest the rest of your body down on the, on the mat. The tops of your feet are flat on the floor. And then breathing in, when you breathe out, engage your core and push your pelvis into the floor. And then imagine a little mini version of that new moon in Capricorn is sitting at the base of your spine and it's just about to work its way up your spine. Breathe in again, um, create a hollow in the base of your spine and gently walk that hollow up the spine along with your little mini moon. When it gets to about halfway, imagine you're pushing a marble away with your nose and allowing your head to come up like a cobra snake and then just pushing your, your hands, use your hands to push yourself up so that your elbows are directly below your shoulders. Your palms are faced flat on the floor and you're looking straight ahead. You'll feel a gentle squeeze in um, the lower thoracic upper lumbar part of your spine. So breathing in, when you breathe out, just turn your head around to the right, nice and gently. Breathing in back into the middle and out across to the left. Breathing into the middle, out to the right into the middle, out to the left. Breathing in, and then when you breathe out, just tuck the chin in and gently release your elbows and coming back down to the floor. 
Now, there's no problem with just sitting with the, with the sphinx and not going to the next stages. If you do have, obviously, concerns about um, abdominal issues, the hiatus hernias, etc., you're definitely not going to go into uh, the next stage. Um, uh, if there's, obviously, if it's pregnancy, you won't be laying on your tummy anyway after the first trimester. Um, and um, if your back, back muscles are prone to spasms as well. So you're quite welcome to just continue to do the sphinx while I, I take the, the group um, through the rest um, of the movements. So moving into the cobra, um, if you're comfortable to do that. So you can bring your hands down to just below your shoulders and your elbows are bent and they're, they're coming in towards your, towards your body. Again, your forehead is flat on the floor. I'll keep mine up so you don't have a really loud sound on the microphone. <laughs> Breathing in, when you breathe out, again, engage your core and push your pelvis into the floor. Imagining that little mini moon, again, the new moon in Capricorn at the base of your spine. Breathing in, create a hollow at the base of the spine. Let the hollow walk up the spine with the mini moon. When it gets halfway, push that marble away with your nose. And then you push yourself up using your hands. You keep your belly button on the floor, your navel on the floor. So this requires a fair amount of, of arm strength. And, and quite a bit of stretching in your, in your um, torso. Looking straight ahead, and then look up with just your eyes. Look straight up at the ceiling or the sky with your eyes. And then look straight ahead, and then breathing out, coming down. All right, so that's quite a strong movement. Excellent for clarity, for moving forwards, for self-confidence, a sense of well-being, courage and security. Again, you can stick with that one, or you can go back to the Sphinx. Let's go to the Cobra 6, um, if, you're, if you're keen to give the Cobra 6 a go. Um, you clasp your hands behind your back, so you're resting them on your buttocks or wherever, wherever they reach with their, their clasp position. So the preparation is all the same. Breathing in, when you breathe out, engage your core, push the pelvis into the floor. Imagine that mini moon. Breathing in, create the hollow. Walk the hollow and the mini moon up the spine. Push the marble away with your nose. Use your core to get you up. So you come up into Cobra 6, looking straight ahead with your eyes, feeling a very strong stretch in the back. Looking up with your eyes and breathing in and then breathing out. Down you go. So that gets Cobra 6. Again, you can stop at any point. You can go back to the Sphinx um, or even just do the child pose if you're feeling it's a little bit too much now. Cobra 7. Um, you can watch this first, of course, and then have a go. So breathing in, breathing out, engage the core, push the pelvis into the floor, and also this time engage your engage your bottom, bottom no, sorry, bottom muscles. Okay, so your gluteus maximus and minimus. You're, you're giving them a nice big squeeze here. Imagine that mini moon. Breathing in, create the hollow. Push the mini moon up the spine. When it gets halfway, again, you basically go back into Cobra Six. Engage your bottom muscles, looking straight ahead, then breathing in. When you breathe out, blowing out, and the hands come out the front. And then breathing out, the hands rest on the floor. And then bring yourself into that child pose. Snowy's demonstrating the Sphinx posture here, if you can see him. And down dog. <laughs> so, Going into the child posture here. So the idea is to get your heels to touch your bottom. If they can't, grab a pillow and, and stick it between your heels and your bottom so you have some kind of contact there. And again, getting your forehead to touch the floor. Uh, and if you can't, use a, um, a fist or two to support yourself there. And just feel that lovely arch in your spine. You want to create an upwards arch and keeping your knees together and just relaxing. Feeling that clarity and that capacity to move forward and more balance and focus. Self-confidence and sense of well-being. Courage and security. And then whenever you're ready, just gently allowing yourself to come back up. <sighs> Lovely. Okay, so we've actually done um, the, the yoga section of the, um, 
of the class. And now we're moving into the deep relaxation. So um, for those of you who have already done a deep relaxation with me before, get yourself into position. Um, you essentially will be laying flat on your back. Um, and um, uh, it's preferable to have something over the top of you. If it's really hot where you are, just throw a nice gentle sheet over you. Um, or just a thin blanket, or if it's cold, obviously throw a nice thick, a thick yoga blanket over you is a fantastic thing to do, because you feel a little bit more cocooned. Um, if you do get lower back issues, um, definitely uh, uh, place a pillow or a rolled up mat or blanket underneath your knees. And uh, if you do get neck issues or problems with laying flat on your back with your head, um, place a very small, maybe a folded up blanket behind your um, behind your head. Um, but it is preferable to go um, no uh, nothing underneath your head and pulling out picky tails and things like that um, is the best the best option there. Um, so yeah, like laying down flat on your back. If you if you are pregnant, please lay on your side and just hug a few pillows and throw a blanket over, over you. Um, and uh, yeah, if you've, if you've not done this before, obviously um, you may not go quite as deeply and that's completely okay. Um, you might just have a little bit of a relax, um, but just enjoy it uh, for what it is. And um, this, this obviously does relax the body, but it also allows um, the energy from what we just did with that yoga to actually become a part of your being uh, over this fortnight it allows it to be absorbed into your body so it's a really important part of the yoga and of course it also prepares us for um, for the meditation and for, uh, sorry for the pranayama and for the meditation so um, it's a very integral part going between the yoga and um, the ultimate um, goal which is the meditation at the end so um, just laying comfortably on your back having your arms out by your side palms faced up Tucking your chin in just a little bit so you have a lovely long neck. And uh, allowing the spine just to have its natural curvature there. Allowing the feet just to flop out to the side wherever your feet would like to go today. And then just breathing in and squeezing your toes and your feet. Giving them a nice big squeeze. Closing your eyes if that's comfortable for you. And then breathing out release. Breathing in again, push the toes away from the body. Feel a big stretch in the shins. And breathing out, release. Breathing in again, push the heels away from the body and push the toes up towards the head. And then breathing out, release. Move the awareness further up the legs, up to the knees. Breathing in, gently pushing the knees down in towards the floor. Feel your quads engage to do this. And then breathing out, release. Move the awareness further up the legs, up to the buttocks. Breathing in, squeezing the buttocks. Feel like your hips are rising just a little bit off the, the floor towards the sky. And breathing out, release. Move the awareness around to the lower part of your back. Breathing in, gently pushing your lower back down in towards the floor. Feel that gentle pressure between your lower back and the floor. And breathing out, release. Breathing in again, gently pushing that lower back into the floor again. Feel that gentle pressure between your lower back and the floor. And then breathing out, release. Move your awareness around to the front of the torso. Breathing in, squeezing the abdominal muscles down in towards the floor. And breathing out release. Move the awareness further up the torso, up to the chest. Breathing in, pushing that chest up towards the sky. 
at the same time push the shoulder blades in towards each other underneath the body and breathing out release breathing in again pushing the shoulders so we should push the shoulders up towards the sky feeling the shoulder blades moving away from each other and breathing out release Move your awareness across your shoulders, down your arms, into your hands. Breathing in and gently curling your fingers over to make a very soft fist with both hands. And then breathing out, release your gentle fists. Breathing in again, make a much stronger fist with both hands. Lifting both arms just a few centimetres from the floor. And as you breathe out, releasing the fingers, releasing the fists and splaying the fingers out as far from each other as possible. Then turning the palms in towards the body, down towards the floor and even a little further around. Then turn the palms back in towards the body and up towards the sky and even a little bit beyond. And breathing out, releasing your arms and your hands back down to the floor, palms faced up. Move your awareness back up, your arms up to your neck. Breathing in, squeezing the neck. Nice big squeeze. And breathing out, release. Move the awareness up to the chin and the jaw, the mouth and the tongue. And without making any sounds, imagine you're saying the letters A-E-I-O-U. And opening the mouth really wide and doing a lovely big yawn. <sighs> and point the tongue up to the sky, across to the right, across to the left, around in a circle in one direction, and around in the other direction. And place the tongue back in the mouth and engage the jaw. Allow the jaw to go around in one direction and then around in the other direction. And then release the jaw and close the mouth. Make a frown and a smile at the same time. Push those eyebrows all the way down and lift up the corners of the mouth as high as you can. Big breath in and breathing out, releasing your frowny smile. And looking all over your face for all the muscles you can find. And breathing in, squeezing all the facial muscles. Your forehead, your eyebrows, your eyes, your cheeks, nose, mouth, chin and jaw. Big breath in, big squeeze. And breathing out, release those facial muscles. Allow them to melt into the floor. Move the awareness around to the back of the the ears and all over your scalp, imagining that you can squeeze this area, breathing in, giving a lovely big squeeze, and breathing out, release. make a request that you would like all the effects of fear to be cleansed and vacuumed from your body. Move your awareness to a beautiful celestial vacuum tube at the crown of your head. Request the speed you would like this tube to go at, slow, medium or fast. And then allow this vacuum tube to work its way into the crown of your head, cleansing and vacuuming away all of the effects of fear from your eyes, your right ear, the back of your head, your left ear, vacuuming into your sinus area, down into your mouth, the left side of your jaw, the right side of your jaw. You can see all the darkness and blackness going up this vacuum tube and away to be recycled. Vacuuming down your throat, down your neck, into your right lung, 
tracking down your right arm into your right hand and fingertips. Vacuum back up your right arm into your right shoulder, across to your left shoulder. Vacuum down your left arm into your left hand and fingertips. Vacuum back up your left arm into your left lung. And then vacuuming into your heart. And vacuuming into your stomach. And vacuuming into your pancreas, your spleen, your liver, your left kidney, your right kidney, your bowels, your lower pelvic organs, your left hip, your right hip. Vacuuming down your right leg through your right knee, all the way through to your right foot and toes. And vacuuming back up your right leg into your right buttocks, and across to your left buttocks. And vacuuming down your left leg through your left knee, all the way down to your left foot and toes. And then requesting that all the space that's now being created by cleansing and vacuuming away all the effects of fear from your body be filled up with beautiful, bright, white, healing light. And so the switch on the vacuum tube is reversed. As you breathe in, this beautiful, bright, white, healing light enters your left toes, your left foot and ankle your left lower leg, knee, upper leg and buttocks. And as you breathe out, this beautiful light settles into all of your left leg. The tube moves across to your right foot. As you breathe in, this beautiful light enters your right toes, your right foot and ankle, your right lower leg, knee, upper leg and buttocks. As you breathe out, this beautiful light settles into all of your right leg. Move your awareness into the, the base of your spine, the base of your pelvis. As you breathe in, this beautiful bright white healing light enters your pelvic area, your middle torso, upper torso, your chest, heart and lungs. And as you breathe out, this beautiful light settles into all of your torso. The tube moves across to your right hand. As you breathe in, this beautiful light enters your right fingertips, your right fingers, palm, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, and your right shoulder. And as you breathe out, this beautiful light settles into all of your right arm. moves across to your left hand. As you breathe in, this beautiful light enters your left fingertips, your left fingers, palm, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, and your left shoulder. And as you breathe out, this beautiful light settles into all of your left arm. The tube moves down to the base of your spine. As you breathe in, this beautiful light enters the base of your spine, works its way up through every single disc and vertebrae in your lumbar spine, your thoracic spine, up into your cervical spine, your neck, your head and the crown of your head. And as you breathe out, this beautiful light settles into your head, your neck and your spine. Your whole body is now glistening and gleaming. With this beautiful, bright, white, healing light. And you affirm to yourself. I am clarity. I am focus. I am moving forward with my goals 
with determination. I am safe. All is well. I am clarity. I am focus. I am moving forward with my goals with determination. I am safe. All is well. I am clarity. I am focus. I am moving forward with my goals with determination. I am safe. All is well. And sit with those affirmations for a few moments. And then move your awareness to a space just above the crown of your head. A beautiful ball of bright golden light is hovering there just above the floor. You take a deep breath in and you allow this golden light to come from the ball and work its way into the crown of your head. And as you breathe out, all of this beautiful golden light showers down your head, your neck, your spine, across your shoulders, down your arms, into your hands and fingertips, down your torso, through your pelvis, down through your legs, through your knees, all the way down to the very tips of your toes. Every single cell in your body has been re-energized, revitalized and rejuvenated by this beautiful golden light. And you start to notice what parts of your body are touching the floor. Your heels, your calves, your buttocks, your shoulders, the backs of your arms, the backs of your hands, and the back of your head. You start to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. You very gently bring your knees up to your chest. Give them a lovely hug with your arms. And gently sway your knees from side to side and around in a circle in one direction and around in the other direction. And then gently rolling over to your right side, resting your head on your right arm and using this very important moment to consolidate what we've done so far in this yoga class. We do the beautiful energy block release three, EBR three, the heart awakener, awakening your heart to your dreams and opening your heart to new possibilities, allowing you to set your goals, tuning into your dreams and giving them wings and giving yourself space and freedom in your life to make these changes, particularly for the first two months of the year, for January and February, while the planets are all moving forwards and we did our warrior one and two for stability, determination, endurance, harmony and balance and poise. 
the harmony and balance quite uh, important for this universal two year. And on the day of the new moon in Capricorn, we actually have a universal two day, which uh, means harmony and balance is a, a very strong uh, energy there. We did the Cobra 7, which brings balance and clarity, focus, moving forward, self-confidence, a sense of well-being, courage and security. And of course, a deep relaxation, which re-energizes, revitalizes and rejuvenates the entire body, the entire mind in preparation for the rest of your day and for your fortnight to come. And imagining yourself sitting in the upright position before you move, Keeping your eyes closed, just gently pushing yourself up into a sitting position. Then bringing your hands together and rubbing your palms together. Create a lovely warmth between the palms. And then place those nice warm palms over your closed eyes. And allow the eyes to open in that nice, warm, safe place. Then gently tapping the forehead, the temples, the chin and the jaw, back up to the top of the head, the back of your head. Your shoulders, your chest, down the side of your body, your thighs, your knees and your buttocks. Shake the arms out to the side. And bring the hands up above your head if that's comfortable for you. Big breath in and breathing out. A little bit of a shoulder roll. Lovely. So that's your deep relaxation. We do that one pretty much every, every time we do a yoga class. Sometimes I modify it to the other relaxations. Uh, but for a while, I'll, I'll likely just be doing those ones. So we're going to go into our pranayama now. So our breathing technique in preparation for the for the finale, the grand finale, which is the uh, the meditation. So the pranayama we're going to do this week is the um, deep yogic breath and the alternate nostril breath. So if, um, getting yourself into a, a meditative type position, you can sit on a chair, not a problem. If you sit on a chair, keep your your back off the back of the chair. So sitting in an upright position, having the torso nice and vertical, feeling like you're aligning your chakras upwards. Um, if you're on the floor, um, the ultimate um, goal would be to have your heels lined up with your spine. Um, if you can't do that and you're finding that your knees are up like this, get some um, pillows underneath your knees. Um, but the main thing is to feel comfortable. If you're not comfortable, please adjust yourself. Don't feel like you have to stay in a, a, you know, a lotus position or something like that because um, you won't get the benefits of, of the meditation that we're going to do. So a deep yogic breath. Um, imagine that you're breathing the air into your tummy. So just placing your hands on your abdomen, just um, one above the other, and then just breathing in. Feel like you're expanding your tummy, that the, the air is actually going into your tummy. And then imagine it coming into your chest, and then your upper chest. Pause, and then breathe out. Empty the tummy. So feel the abdomen falling back down, then the chest, then the upper chest. This is all through the nose if you can. Breathing in, tummy, chest, upper chest, pause, and breathing out, tummy, chest, upper chest, pause. Breathing in, tummy, chest, upper chest, pause, and breathing out, tummy, chest, upper chest. Pause. If at any point you start to feel dizzy or breathless, please just go back to your normal breathing. Don't feel like you have to keep up with what I'm doing. If you have any concerns about um, your lungs or your, any part of your respiratory system, or if you have dizzy spells, please, um, that's probably about as much as you're going to want to do with the breathing. So breathing in, fill up the tummy, chest, upper chest, pause, and breathing out, empty the tummy, chest, upper chest, breathing in, tummy, chest, upper chest, pause, and out, tummy, chest, upper chest, so just releasing that, you can of course continue that, you can press pause and go for, for a few more breaths, it's a really lovely one to do, the deep yogic breath, and now we'll do the alternate nostril breath, so again, if you're having, if you have any breathing difficulties, if you have vertigo dizziness, um, or any kinds of spells that, that you're concerned about, um, definitely consult your health professional before you do the, the alternate nostril breath. You may want to just continue with the deep yogic. So the right hand comes up, place the middle finger between your eyebrows, 
the little fingers up against your left nostril and the thumbs up against your right nostril and just place your hands your, your left hand underneath your right elbow just to support you there sitting up nice and tall and I'll just switch hands so I can do it with you so blocking off your left nostril breathing in through your right nostril imagine you're filling up your tummy pause and then switch fingers breathing out through your left nostril pause in through your left nostril pause switch fingers out through the right you can close your eyes if you like it's a lovely one to do with your eyes closed pause in through the right pause switch fingers out through the left pause in through the left pause switch fingers out through the right pause in through the right pause switch fingers out through the left pause in through the left pause switch fingers out through the right pause in through the right pause switch fingers out through the left pause in through the left pause switch fingers out through the right and then just releasing your hands alternate nostril breath is fantastic for bringing you balance again fantastic for this universal year great to do on a daily basis it's also fantastic for preparing you for meditation and just bring yeah, bringing you back into balance and calming calming your mind and your body so now we're going to go into our meditation we're going to do the river meditation today um, which allows you to release your bur burdens and connect um, to your inner self and we're going to use the gesture of wisdom as our as our um, gesture today as our mudra uh, this allows you to stabilize your emotions and clarify the mind which is really good for what we're trying to achieve at the moment so it's just your thumb and your pointer finger touching it's sort of the classic meditation finger position I guess um, and you can have it palms faced up on your on your knees or palm face down or you can even bring the hands in uh, to you in front of your torso at any any chakra that you have there that you'd feel is the right spot to put it um, and do the meditation from there so just sitting upright checking that you are comfortable if you are if you experience any discomfort please um, move your legs around do what you have to do to get yourself nice and comfy this meditation goes for about 10 minutes if you've not done this meditation before or any meditations with me before your mind your mind might wander but just be okay with that and just bring yourself back in when you hear the cues and as you progress as you start to do this as a regular uh, class and you do it as often as you possibly can and do all the new classes that I bring in every fortnight what you'll find is that you go deeper into the meditation each time um, and all the yoga that we've done up to this point um, in this class actually prepares you for the meditation so you've got your best the best chance possible of, of being able to achieve um, a deep meditation today so just do whatever whatever feels comfortable for you so sitting up nice and upright you can be on a chair or sitting on the on the cushion and closing your eyes if that's comfortable for you or just gazing very softly at the floor we'll just relax the body first before we go into the river meditation so breathing in move your awareness to your toes your feet your ankles and your lower legs and as you breathe out allow them to rest and settle and sink down into the earth below breathing in again move your awareness to your knees your upper legs and your buttocks feel your buttocks resting on your sitting position and as you breathe out allow the whole lower body to sink down into the floor 
into the earth below. Breathing in again, move your awareness to your pelvic area, your middle torso, upper torso, chest, heart and lungs. Feel like your whole torso is rising up a little bit towards the sky. And breathing out, allow the whole torso to settle and rest into the sitting position. Breathing in again, move your awareness to your fingertips. See if you can feel a little buzz between your fingers, particularly the two sets of fingers that are touching each other. And breathing out, allowing your fingers to rest and settle in the mudra. Breathing in again, move your awareness to your fingers, your palms, your wrists, elbows, upper arms and your shoulders. As you breathe out, allow your shoulders, arms and hands to sink down into the mudra. Breathing in again, move your awareness to your spine, your neck, your head and the crown of your head. And as you breathe out, Allow your head, your neck, your spine to come and rest and settle into the sitting position. And imagine that you're sitting on the edge of a stream, a very gentle stream. You're sitting on a patch of grass. You're a little bit upper a very, very slight incline in a large clearing. And there's a you're on the edge of a forest. So there's a forest around the outside. And you're sitting there watching the water gently roll over the rocks in the stream. You can see the beautiful sunlight glistening off the surface of the rocks, at the surface of the water. You can hear the water, you can smell the water. And you decide you're going to follow this stream downstream to see where it leads to. So you stand up and you start to walk very slowly, almost in slow motion down this gentle incline following the stream, seeing the beautiful glistening sunlight bouncing off the water. And the stream eventually comes to a river and you decide to sit by the edge of the river again on a nice patch of grass. You're looking out to the river Again, you can see the beautiful glistening sunlight on the surface of the water. And you can tell that the water is moving fairly fast along the current. Then you decide that you're going to write down all of your burdens, all the things that are bothering you at the moment, all the challenges all the things that are standing in your way between you and your dream. All the relationship issues you're having. And you get a piece of paper out and you start to write. You write down all of your worries, your troubles, your burdens, your frustrations. And you find that you're sitting there for quite some time, jotting down seamlessly jot jotting down all of your burdens. Then you come to the end of your list. And then you place your piece of paper on the surface of the river. And you watch as the river takes away your burdens. You watch as it floats out of sight all the way down the river. You take a deep breath in, you feel the burdens and as you breathe out you feel the weight lifted off your shoulders.
and then you decide you're going to be carried effortlessly through life. You start to become buoyant. And you gently float out onto the surface of the river. And then you float effortlessly down the river, down the stream. Floating effortlessly, being carried through life. Free from your burdens, free from your troubles. And then eventually the river opens up to the ocean. You notice that the water starts to slow down and comes to a point of stillness. And at the same time you come to a point of stillness and rest. And you allow yourself to rest. for a few moments. Breathing in, move your awareness to your crown, your head, your neck, shoulders, arms, hands and fingertips, upper torso, middle torso and pelvis. And as you breathe out, allow your whole upper body to rest and settle and come back into the room that you're in, into the space that you're in, into this present moment. Breathing in again, move your awareness to your buttocks, your upper legs, knees, lower legs, ankles, feet and toes. As you breathe out, bring your whole body back into this room, into this present moment. And then gently opening your eyes and releasing your mudra. Rubbing your hands together, do a little bit of a, a little bit of tap just to wake yourself up. Especially if you're going to negotiate traffic making sure that you're, you're nice and awake there. And that concludes our yoga class for our new moon in Capricorn for the 17th of January 2018. I hope you enjoy the class and I hope you're able to stay in this place of stillness and balance and harmony and determination for at least the next 24 hours. You're quite welcome to do this class as many times as you like over this coming uh, week or so. And of course, we'll be going into our, our full moon yoga class um, probably about three or four days before, before the full moon comes. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback and please share this with as many people as you like. Um, if you really enjoy the class, let people know. It is for free. It's never going to not be for free. So um, there are no catches. Um, this is just sharing this energy with uh, the world, basically, particularly to those who, who are unable to get to a class for whatever reason. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson and uh, have a really lovely uh, new moon uh, and new year and new dreams and moving forward over this next couple of months, really pushing and moving forwards with this energy. Namaste. Bye-bye. Okay. And now we turn this off. <laughs> Can't move my legs.